Welcome to Callahan Aircraft Services videos on aircraft structure. Today we're going to start with a simple cantilever beam. It's where I believe I started my career in statics. 10 pounds at the end of a 10 inch beam. So we're going to solve, show it and solve the reactions. Here's your free body. The reactions, we solve for the reactions of 10 pounds down, constant, 10 pounds up, so V is 10 pounds. Your moment gradually increases as you get to the base to 100 inch pounds. It's constant. Now I want you to think airplane wing. Okay, now we continue with another cantilever beam. This time, with a load at a 30 degree angle halfway down the wing. So if this was a Caravan 208, this would be your lift strut. Other Cessna single engine airplanes have a lift strut here also. So to solve this one, we have 10 pounds down, we have the sign of 30 degrees times 10, Cosine, 30 degrees of 10, gives us our free body. Ten, so we go down 10 pounds at the end, we go down another 5 pounds, come over, we go up 15, so shear is 15 pounds. Moment starts at zero, there's a change in the angle, the slope, we get 125 inch pounds. Okay, now we have a little different uh, cantilever beam. Visualize this as a wing attached to the fuselage with maybe a distributed load called fuel in the wing. So let's go ahead and solve this. Here's your balance free body. A slope gets, gets to 10 pounds, comes across constant, and goes up 10 pounds, so you're positive 10 pounds at the root. Moment starts at zero, exponentially grows, and then it goes on a constant slope till it's at 75 pounds, inch pounds. So putting the three together, 75 inch pounds, distributed load, Seven and a half inches over, 10 pounds, if we made that a point load. So there's a different way to look at it than just this way. This one is 125 inch pounds, 10 at the end, 5 at the middle, 10 at the end is 100 inch pounds. So notice that 10 pounds at the end is a higher moment at the wing root then a distributed load towards the end of the wing. So you have a lower load. 